Now, Arizona has an interesting geology, and it makes it so that a part of the state is really good for gold prospecting, but another part is really not good at all for gold prospecting. It's about 60-40. So the kind of west, southwest, and uh, south part of the state are good. It has the right kind of geology, the, the kind of favorable geology that will lead to gold deposits. But the other part of the state is basically the, it's the northeast, north, north and northeast part of the state that is basically buried in sandstone and limestone rocks. Uh, probably underneath those rocks and a few places where it's exposed, it's favorable gold rock underneath them. But to some of those places, it's buried by thousands and thousands of feet of uh, basically rock that doesn't have any gold. It's sand and limestone, sandstone and stuff like that. That uh, it can be very pretty, you know, the, the Grand Canyon is part of that. It's very beautiful. Layers of limestone and sandstone, but it's not particularly, in fact, it's not good at all for gold prospecting. So uh, let's take a look at the geology of Arizona and talk about uh, why those areas are, the areas that are good and the areas that are not so good and where the gold deposits are within that geology. This is a geologic map of the whole state of Arizona. And one of the things that you can see just looking at it right off is that the north and northeast part looks a lot different than the south and southwest parts. The north northeast part, which is mostly, at least in this map, blues and greens and some bright yellow, uh, those basically are signifying, at least in this map anyway, sedimentary rocks like sandstone and limestone and that sort of thing that really are not good places to search for gold. The south and southwest part, you can see, uh, basically consists of a number of ranges and, and a lot of different other colored rocks. And these are basically volcanic and metamorphic rocks that, for the most part, are underneath those sedimentary rocks like the limestone and the sandstone that I just mentioned. And so the rocks underneath are the ones that are older and have the greater potential for gold. And the sedimentary rocks, yeah, not so much. Now let's look at a map of the gold deposits of Arizona. And this is both placer and hard rock. And, and it shows that it matches the geologic map perfectly. So here you can see all the gold mines that uh, have been productive in the state of Arizona, all marked on there by a little yellow dot. And you can see that it corresponds just exactly as the geologic map showed. The south and southwestern part of the state have lots of gold mines, especially there, a big clump in the middle around Yavapai County. And then the north and northeast part of the state of Arizona, there's virtually nothing there except one very small yellow dot in the middle at the top. I don't know what that is. But in any case, the bulk of the production and virtually all the production came from the south and southwest part of the state. When you're out prospecting, it's important to be able to recognize the more favorable types of rock that are going to be hosting or near to the places where gold is deposited. And one of them is this. This is a granitic type intrusive rock. It has this kind of speckled salt and pepper look. Volcanic rocks can also be favorable hosts. This is a rhyolite. This is a gray colored rhyolite, but they can also be found in buff and tan colors. This is also a rhyolitic rock. It's just a little bit different color. They're very fine grained and light colored. But probably the most important favorable rock type class is the metamorphic rocks. And this is a rock known as schist. But I'm showing you three different pieces that look different because I want to emphasize that when it weathers, it can appear different. And the upper rock, uh, the top one, is very weathered. The one in the middle toward the left is somewhat weathered. And the silvery one, the lower right, is pretty much unweathered. And so this rock, as well as all of these rocks, can weather and look a little bit different. Another common gold hosting rock is slate, and this is very similar to schist, but it's a little smoother. Another very common metamorphic rock 
that you'll see is the greenstone or green schist type rock. And this is similar to the silvery mica schist I just showed you, but this has got all of these green minerals in it. Uh, it's basically a metamorphosed basalt. This is a basalt that's been exposed to a lot of heat and pressure. And it's commonly associated these greenstone belts with gold deposits in many places around the world. Uh, this shows four different places. Uh, the upper left is from West Africa. The lower left is from Western Australia. The lower right is from Arizona. And the upper right is from California. And I found gold in the general vicinity of all three or four of these rocks. Now, as I mentioned, Arizona has 87 placer districts that have recorded production of placer gold. But finding gold is a skill, and the more you know, the more likely your success is going to be. So I wrote a book, it's called Fistful of Gold, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my book and about my prospecting equipment partners at High Plains right now. So my book, Fistful of Gold, it's an encyclopedia of gold prospecting. It has information on metal detecting, sluicing, panning, dry washing, the whole nine yards. It's all covered in Fistful of Gold. And it's available on Amazon and also from High Plains Prospectors. I've kind of partnered with them. They're a full line prospecting equipment dealer and you can look up high plains prospectors on the internet and you can get a discount in buying my book and other stuff by using the discount code chris ralph uh, all caps and no space in between chris and ralph and the book will really help you be successful with your gold prospect